Oh, I found the button. Mel are gonna ask, uh, like most ask questions. Hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today, um, if you're a nosy bugger like me, um, or Mel, uh, you will probably very much enjoy this video. As you can tell by the title, we're going over our most asked question, um, which is basically, how did we meet each other at a pub? Me and Mel, as of today, have been together for two years and 22 days. Was well, it took me 21 days? Yeah. It took me 21 days. Um, so, we will kind of rewind it all the way back to, I want to say, roughly 2019. Um, so 2019, me and Mel were first ever introduced to each other at a mutual friend's house party. Pretty sure it was, might have been a birthday or a New Year's party, one of the two, can't remember. I think it was a birthday. <sighs> might have been a birthday. Mm. Either way, mutual friend, uh, was my friend, as most of you at school know, uh, was Keenan. Um, so obviously I met Keenan through school, he lived up in Ipswich, moved down to Essex, transferred into our school, not my school, um, and yeah, we became close through through school, that was pretty much it. Um, Mel and Keenan met each other at gymnastics, so Mel was an elite gymnast, and she was obviously originally from Norwich, but then trained at Piper's Vale. Yeah, I in... still lived at Norwich, so... But I ended up training in Ipswich, which Keenan trained at, and I trained in the same group as Keenan's sister, which is how I actually met Keenan. So there's that. Um, and then, yeah, a few years down the line, they're having a party. Um, at this point, I will say both myself and Mel were in long term relationships. Um, the only reason we were introduced is because I was walking around with Keenan, and Keenan was saying hello to everyone, and it was a uh, this is me. This is you. That kind of thing. Um, and kind of from that point onwards, we was just kind of like a, hi. We never spoke. Bye. <laughs> Literally never had a conversation. Yeah. Um, and then, the first time we ever spoke to each other was, probably nearly exactly a year later. Um, yeah. When I, so, yeah, so, we first spoke when I had a car crash, basically. So, some of you may remember, you may not remember. If you don't, this is what my car looked like. So that was great. Um, that happened, but Mel, for someone that had only ever been introduced to me once, very kindly sent me a message just to say, make sure I'm all right, I basically. Like, that was the first time we ever spoke, because obviously Mel asked me if I'm all right. I obviously replied and said, yeah, absolutely fine. Like, thanks for your message. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of went a little bit that dead after that. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Fit my car. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much and the conversation. <laughs> um, and then another few months down the line. So at this I point. I think it was only a month. Might have been. But prior to me crashing my car, Myself and my ex had split up. So we were living in, me and my ex were living in a house further out in Essex. Um, and we had been split up for, oh, fuck knows, an amount of time at this point. Um, not looking good, breath. Um, <laughs> but yeah, either way, um, I obviously at this point I'm single, so it's fine. I've gone out, done whatever's happened, and people messaging me. So, for context, at this point, I'm single. However, Mel is still in her long-term relationship with her ex. So, anything from this point onward is still just a very friendly... I you were single when you did that. Yeah. Um, so, yes, then about a month down the line, um, we were both invited to... Oh, the fire's back. Um, we were both invited to another party through this mutual friend. It was the mum's 50th. We actually first met at this pub, um, at this party. And again, didn't really speak too much. I mean, because I was... definitely spoke more there than I've ever spoken before. Yes. Um, but it was mainly kind of in conversation. So, mm. obviously, 
talking with it like all the group and whatever and me and Mel started to speak a little bit more at this point kind of just like still very friendly um just kind of like don't really know who you are but yeah, I'll have a conversation with you yeah and then a dress to come up in conversation but that's because she was trying to say it was one color and I was like no it's definitely another color it was a coral dress which means it was pink and it was coral which means it was pink it was still coral it's a pink mm. <sighs> um yeah but either way she was mainly um kind of you were mainly just kind of talking to Hallie really which is Keenan's sister um and obviously I was mainly in conversation with Keenan um and the rest of the family really um I was very drunk I sat next to you on the sofa yeah and then we went back to their house I was still with my ex at the time yeah we went back to their house but they ordered a massive Chinese so I went out to get the Chinese for everyone because Keenan was hanging <laughs> yeah um <laughs> so we all went so me and him went out got the Chinese brought it back to everyone and then they had this like massive corner sofa so we all just sat on the sofa um, and everyone had their plate of chocolate. I don't think I ate any. I just remember Keenan hanging over his. Yeah, so <laughs> just staring Keenan at was literally, he was sat there, monged out, <laughs> with his Chinese on his lap, just like leaning like this, staring at his food. And I had a baby plate, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so that's the first time we ever actually like met and had conversation um, but still like very amongst the group and Mel was still very much in a relationship so I was still very much kind of like a nice person but I'm gonna stay over here because respectable and stuff um, and yeah again then it kind of went like we, we would talk to each other like but it was never anything about it like every now and then it would be like a probably like checking on each other like hi hope we're okay because at this point I was kind of talking to Mel and realised that she wasn't in the best place. Well, you originally messaged me like two days later say, asking about the dress. Oh, I think you posted a picture on your story about it, didn't you? I don't know. Some, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think there was a picture of it on your story and you were like, definitely coral. So I replied and was like, definitely pink. Mm -hmm. And that was a conversation. Um... But that was kind of it really, like it was never anything more than that. Um, and I don't know how much more you want to go into about that situation really. He is literally the male version of me. We are very, very similar. True. And we just connected on a different level. What she said. So basically by the time that Mel's relationship had then come to an end as well, um, I was kind of there not to get between anything but to kind of just be like it was just nice to it's okay speak to someone when you've been in a relationship for a really long time especially at such a young age and then you finish that relationship it's kind of like how, how does life go now yeah you know, what do you do now um but we kind of connected on that mm. so it was nice to have someone there you could speak to about the same kind of things and the same kind of concerns and whatever um because obviously if you've been in like if you have been in a long term relationship, and I'm kind of casting anything over three years as like long term, um, you kind of know where we're coming from when you kind of like, you're single and you're kind of like, I, it's, you almost feel a little bit lost with it because you're like, shit, I've got no responsibilities for anyone else apart from me, mm. but like, what do I do? You should like, normally have someone there. Yeah, you're so you used to someone things. being around. Yeah. That like when I would go to the gym, well, I was like, I didn't have to think about coming home to make sure, and I didn't have to look at my phone to just make sure that whoever I was with is okay. Like it was just, it was a very weird time. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, but then when our friendship kind of grew, it came to it a point where, quickly. yeah, it was very quick. Um, like considering that. I was out of a relationship for about three, four months. You were out of a relationship for like nine months. Both long term relationships, and then we both just kind of. Yeah, know. and it's weird. It was never basically, it was never meant to go anywhere, no. really. It was just like, we'll be there for each other. 
and then whatever happens happens like if Mel would have gone off with someone else probably would have felt it but I would never have been like no don't do that mm. um, and probably very much vice versa but we then kind of got to the point where we would so obviously Mel lives in Norfolk Norwich not no, even Essex um, but Cop Dock <laughs> in Ipswich is bang in the middle of both of us it's exactly like 50 miles away from where we so both we are so we would both drive an hour yeah. to meet with each other for about an hour and a half yeah, so we, we would basically drive. I was drive still at this. uni as well at the time. Yeah, whereas obviously I was in, in full time employment, so it's fine. But I did have a house at this point, so. Um, but again, I was single at this point, so I kind of had no means to need to be anywhere. Um, Cop Dock was the meeting point for a good. Two months? Two months. But like, yeah, so. Actually, we've missed something. What? There was a time previous, to before we were meeting at Cop Dog. So the first time we actually ever met each other, after the pub, <clears throat> you were at Colchester Zoo. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. And I was working from home at the time, because it was during the pandemic. It was in that weird, like, gap. Yeah. In the pandemic, where, like, no one knew what you could and couldn't do. Like, you could go out in a group of this, but you couldn't do that. Mm. But you could go and eat. When was that? That was just that was must have been September because it was like a week before my birthday. Something like that, yeah. Um, either way, we actually met at uh, Tesco's in Colchester. Yeah. Um, so I was just at Colchester Zoo, and I lived kind of near there anyway. So I was like, I'll drive up and come and see you. Um, that was the first time that we'd ever met. Just us. Just us. Well, and and what he makes, yeah. Um, so yeah, we first met then. Um, that, was fun. that was fun. It was piercing it down the rain. Yeah. Um, I was literally just wearing a dress and trainers. Yeah. I was in rugby stuff, I think. Yeah. Um, I was still very much playing rugby at this point as well. So, or co I was coaching rugby um, and trying to get into the gym kind of as much as I could. Um, but yeah, that was the first time we ever met. And then the first time we ever met, just me and Mel. No one else around was at Cop Dock, I think a couple of weeks later. Yeah. Um, and then that happened, it, was it every week? No, it was like every other week. I think there was probably like two weeks in a row that we saw each other. But obviously it was a bit extreme to drive an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Just to go and sit in the car for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, to then drive back. So that happened. And I was so nervous. Oh yeah, like at this point, yeah, like hundred percent. So but even I was nervous because I would sit there and like, I had like the shakes and whatever. Like, <laughs> like, I'd never been in the stage of like mm. speaking to someone before because obviously when me and my ex got together, we were twelve years old and we were in school. Yeah, same. So it's very different um, to when you're like nineteen, twenty, wherever you are. Twenty, twenty-one, I think. Yeah, um, and going through it as like a bit of an adult. It was like oh, almost. How do you do this? Yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. But it was a nice process to go through, to be yeah. fair. Like, I wouldn't have changed it. So then a few weeks later, I drove up to yours. Stayed two nights in the Holiday Inn. Yeah, I stayed in the Holiday Inn. Um, that was good fun. We went out with your mum and her friends. Well, we did go out for dinner together there, but that wasn't really our first official... It was like our first dinner, our date night together. We went to the Ivy and had three-course meal. Yeah, went nice. out for cocktails. That was like our first ever date night. That was kind of. Oh no, because we'd been one. Oh no, you'd come down once for one day, and we went to um, rooftop oh, in rooftop. Norwich. Yeah. That you literally just come down for a day, didn't you? Yeah. But the first time we ever actually classed as our first proper date was again at the rooftop once we had come out of lockdown completely. Um, we went to the rooftop together and all we actually had was like a brownie each and some cocktails. Oh, it was freezing. But it was fucking freezing. And there was a guy that was pissed out of his face mm. um, and the bottom of his wine glass had snapped off. You I'll, know, because he's smashed it. I'll play a video up here <laughs> of what he so looked funny. like. As long as I can find it. If I can't, then I'm just holding up a fire. But he was pissed out of his head missing the bottom of his wine glass he was loving life that was it was so great funny. um <clears throat> that was when we yeah. were a couple though yes yeah, so i'd say that was our first 
proper date though because we hadn't yeah. any time in between because we got so we got together you asked me out on new year's day on the question was saying happy new year you were saying do you want to be my girlfriend don't be my girlfriend <laughs> no no <laughs> um and yeah that is that's how that bit happened really um you were around mine yeah, we were around Mills. I beat her again with Twister. No, you, you were cheating. Sounds like a sore loser to me. Oh. I definitely won. I did win. I definitely won. Just move on. You didn't. Move on. Either way. I still won. You lost. Um, <laughs> <I did. laughs> um, and yeah, that was that's kind of it really. That is... And then we did a few bits in that year. And I think we might as well just completely skip that year and go to our first anniversary. Yeah, really? I don't think we did much because lockdown and obviously we got together just before a pandemic. Well, it was Is it in pandemic. the middle? Of, no, it was in the middle of a pandemic. So we went back into lockdown. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Never seeing your own boyfriend. It's yeah, quite that was difficult fun. actually. Um We did some good things that first year, I think, did we? No, that was last year. We just did like a few bits, like we had a photo shoot. It's all in the same fucking honestly, it all feels like the same year. Yeah, we did um, a photo shoot. Yeah. I think that's it. I think you might be right. If yeah. You know, like the usual couple bits, you know. That was it, we didn't do much. Yeah, first for year. and stuff. That was kind of first it. anniversary. Yeah, the first anniversary we splashed out, that was uh, an expensive one. But if I could say anything, I think your first anniversary should be one of your more expensive ones because you're kind of celebrating. Are you just trying to make yourself feel better about it? Yeah. It All in moves. one day, stayed at the Waldorf, went to the Shard for afternoon tea, went to watch The Lion King and then went to Luciana's for dinner. <laughs> Oops. It was expensive. Um, so if you can okay. afford to do it, Right, I will say it was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. Like um, the Waldorf, an amazing hotel. And I managed to get them to kind of like decorate the room for us, which was really, really nice. Should I put the video in? I'll try and put the video in. This is what the room looked like. Thank you, Waldorf. You're amazing. Um, we actually then went back to the Waldorf. Was it like a month later? No, it was in the same month. <laughs> in, in the same month, we went back to the Waldorf, but we just got a different suite because it was the that nice. Suite. Um, that was nice. It was good. Expensive, but good. But good. Uh, but yeah, like if it's in your budget to go, 100% go. Like if you can get an afternoon tea at the Shard, do it because ours was Peter Pan style. Oh, yeah, it was so cool. It was just really, really cool. They put yeah. that weird mist. If it's within your budget, do it. If it's not, save up and go for it because it is good fun. Um, and it's and definitely makes me... the Waldorf it is, is within the Strand, which is basically where all of the main theatres are. Yeah, so again, if I could recommend going, the same thing. I haven't seen anything other in theatre than The Lion King. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, obviously, you can't take any videos or anything whilst you're in there because it kind of make it a bit pointless. But if you like lions, or The Lion King, highly, highly absolutely. recommend it. Been three times. Um, fine. Loved it every time. Oh, I've only been once, but still very, very good. Uh, if you could stay a night at the Waldorf. Highly recommend it. It's an amazing hotel, and if you're in around that area and you want really nice Italian food, Luciano's is up. Go to Luciano's because again, it's very, very, very nice, and it's not too expensive. You'll probably mm. spend the same in there as to if you were to go somewhere like Miller and Carter or mm. somewhere like that. So it's expensive, but it's not like absolutely ridiculous. Like you've gone to the Savoy or yeah. anything like that. So. Um, Again, highly recommend them because they're just nice things to do. Are expensive, but not so expensive kind of things. Um, and then that kind of leads us into the last year that we spent together. So March last year, we went to Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, went to Lisbon. It was like six days, was it? Something like, Something like that. Um, that was very nice. Going to go to Portugal. Highly recommend going there because it was. Great Maybe fun. go like a month later because it was a little bit. It was a bit wet some days, but it was yeah. nice. It was good. I do you know what at the time I said I wouldn't go again. 
thinking back to it, would. I probably would we go had a really again. Good time. Like it was a nice time, but I would definitely want it to be warmer. If yeah. it was warmer, I'd 100% go again because it was absolutely fine. And everything is kind of within walking distance, um, but they have the e scooters oh, actually yeah. everywhere, yeah. so you can just scoot. E scoot wherever you want to go it's great fun um a few months later we went to barcelona with my family yeah minus my brother which again was nice Definitely barcelona wouldn't i wouldn't go back um you kind of did everything in one go we saw the big cathedral we, we did all like the main tourist attractions all the main sites but very smelly yeah, oh God, absolutely, absolutely stinks. Um, so if you uh, if you're gonna go to Barcelona, do go. It is a very nice it place. It's it, nice and warm, but just bear in mind if you walk around anywhere in the nice city, nice and warm. It's it, too hot. It was fucking hot. Um, but if you're walking around anywhere, it might mm. absolutely stink of sewage water. Yeah. So just bear that in mind. Near the W, however, if you've got the money to go and stay at the W, oh, absolutely, it didn't smell. It was very very nice. Oh um, my God, them big. What were they like? Yachts or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Near certain parts, they're like a massive. There was a, a few yachts parked up in the bay that was near. <laughs> so before we were rudely cut off by the camera, there we need to extend how long a single clip can be. Um, so yeah, Barcelona. I'd probably give it like a solid like eight out of ten. It was a good stay, mm. but it did stink. It was nice to say that we've done it, you know. Yeah, yeah, true say. Um, and then. A little bit later on in the year, again, so around September time, um, we went to Rhodes. Oh, that was amazing. In Greece. And yeah, that was by far like one of my mm. favourite holidays. We stayed um, at a five star resort and it was definitely, definitely a five star. Yeah, yeah, there was it like, was there was nothing you could fault. It wasn't ridiculously expensive either. Um, I don't know what's going on, it's gone all green again. Um, we obviously we stayed all inclusive, um, but again, it was probably about £800 per person. We managed to get some money off. Yeah. Jets too. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, but again, couldn't fault it. Like, the hotel was amazing. Mm. All, it was all inclusive, but the food was really, really good. And normally I'm shit at eating buffet food. Yeah. Um, but it was fine. I really enjoyed that. So Rhodes that was... Town wasn't all it was cracked up to be. But again, one of them things. I'm glad that we. Did. Yeah, we went and had a little explore. We found a little museum that kind of explained like mm. the history of Rhodes and whatever, which was quite cool. But again, we also chose a very bad day to go because it was sweltering. It was what was it we like went. 34? It was something stupid like that. Yeah, it was it was hot hot. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that was good. It was nice. Um, and then I started my job. Yeah, then then we moved down here to Essex, which was a few months later. Yeah. Was it a few months later? Yeah, because we went all, we went to Rose in September, and you moved here in like November, December. Oh my god, that's mad. Yeah, and then obviously that leads us on to now. We got Christmas. Here we are. Um. We yeah. just had our second year anniversary. Had a two year anniversary on January the 1st. This year, however, very budgeted anniversary. Yeah. Uh, we did two escape rooms, went out for food. The food was basically free because of a Tesco's club card. Oh, we did buy a Switch though. Yeah, to be fair, we bought this. Best buy. Ugh. A Nintendo Switch. This thing here, unreal. Like, we always have it. In this dock, I don't know if you can see it there, um, and it pops up on the TV, and we take a little controller out of the side each. Most and, uh, people probably know how a switch works. You don't know. <clears throat> you don't know. Um, but either way, we normally lay in bed and we play that together, like during the night or whatever, because that's quite fun. It is a good buy, to be fair. It is. Highly recommend you get one. Do it. But yeah, other than that, now we live together. Yeah, that's you up to date. Hopefully, fingers crossed this year, we will keep you up to date with as much as we do whenever we do it. Obviously, all the big holidays, any holidays at all, you will come along most. We might be going to <coughs> New York. Yeah, it might be going to New York toward the end of the year. So that'll be a good one. And obviously, if anything happens in between. I'd really like to do a spa break. Yeah, we are looking to do a spa break. We're also looking at some point possibly to go up to... The lakes. 
Lake District uh, and things like that. But as long as you stay tuned and you stay updated with the channel, you'll find out. Um, so that's that video today, really. That is as simple as it is. The short story, we met at a pub. The long story, what you just watched. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please do like, subscribe. And if we can, if you could share it out with as many people as possible, that would be absolutely great. Um, yeah, nearly 100 subscribers already, so that's great. Thank You're you still to watching. everyone that has done this. And we will see you in the next video, which will be, I don't know yet, because I haven't decided when I'm going to film, but I'll film something. Thank you very much for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon, my bros. This is...